And now what you can start doing is working with some really basic camera animations and some depth of field to get that nice sort of professional look that you saw. So, um, as I said, we're working 300 frames here, half that 150. So we'll just make them five seconds and five seconds. So we got camera one and camera two. What we can do here is let's take a look at our second camera angle. See what that's looking like. Very, very nice angle there. The way the light is hitting up and catching the top looks great. Pretty sick. Um, let's just see, because this is quite zoomed in and the cloth material looks a little, little stretched out here. So camera angles are super easy the way I do them. So the way you can sort of automate camera angles, so you're rendering one scene in Cinema 4D is by dropping down into your light tab here and then getting a stage. And a stage is that way of animating cameras, as I said. So we'll start with this closer up one and then head to the one which shows the entire simulation at the end so that it's kind of like a reveal as such. So we can head to our stage here, go to frame 149. So the frame just before we want it to change, uh, we can have that set to camera two. Make sure we're hitting the keyframe button. Next frame along, set that to camera one. Make sure we click in the eyedropper tool, camera one, keyframe that. So if we were just to pause this quickly, pretty simply, you can see that as we play our simulation, and it's a little slow, but you can see it's playing at frame 150 just here. It's going to flick, and this is how we can start working with our cameras. Now, this is looking pretty cool. What we can do now is animate a depth of field, which is going to get a whole new dimension to the, to the frame that we're after. So what I typically do is you can do a few ways of doing this again, but let's, for the sake of this, this shot, you might want to animate the light a little bit. We can turn that down a little bit. What we can do is head to our Octane camera tag, go to the first frame and have this focused on a place, an area that you like. So we can head to motion blur or rather no, sorry, lens, depth of field, untick also focus for a second. So the aperture to something which is strong enough to create the look that you want. So 50 is wildly out of scope, but we can set it to 10. And then the easiest way of doing this is clicking this little F in your Octane tab here, and then just picking what part you like. So I think this looks pretty cool. Or you can pick the end here. So that looks pretty sick too. So what we'll do is a good, a good approach is just generally picking a faraway point and having it focus to a closer bit. So this looks pretty cool and we'll use this for now. We can keyframe the, the focal depth here and then drop down to the end of the camera animation here, which is about here. And we can then have the, I did think that looked a little weird for a sec. We can keep the focus tab here and then pick on something else. So here looked really cool because the way it was lit uh we can keyframe that and then again here you have the choice see with focal depth it's not that obvious that if we were to look at these tracks they'd be eased but flicking through here and it's basically going to transition pretty smoothly from one to the other